Richard Pierpoint was born in 1744 in Bondu, which is now the country of Senegal. Given what we know about Bondu at the time, it is likely that Pierpoint was raised as a Muslim and attended an Islamic school. In 1760, at the age of 16, slave traders captured and imprisoned Pierpoint. They took him to the coast, where they sold him to English traders, who brought him across the Atlantic Ocean to be enslaved in the 13 British colonies. A British officer purchased an enslaved Pierpoint, who then worked in the officer's home. Pierpoint's true name is not known, since Pierpoint was enslaved for nearly 20 years and was given the name of the officer who enslaved him. Pierpoint regained his freedom during the American Revolution. Upon becoming a free man again, he settled in Niagara, Upper Canada, and attempted to live community with other black Canadians. Other black loyalists were also given plots of land nearby. While they were free from slavery, it was outlawed in Ontario in 1793, many black Canadians still faced systematic racism. Thirty years later, at the age of 68, he petitioned for an all-black unit to fight for the British and fought with the Colored Corps in the War of 1812. In 1820, as recognition of his contribution, Richard Pierpoint was granted 100 acres of land on the Grand River in Garafraxis Township, which is near Fergus, Ontario today. Pierpoint's land in Garafraxis is recognized as one of the first permanent settlements for black Canadians lived on by persons fleeing enslavement in the United States via the Underground Railroad or people simply in search of communal living with other black Canadians. Pierpoint's legacy is that of a leader in the early black Canadian community who fought and petitioned for causes important to him, his community, and to Canada as a whole. His petitions provide the picture of a man taken from his home and enslaved as a teenager who fought for his freedom in two wars and worked to build a black community among prejudice and discrimination.